But Deke, as a retoucher, um, something happened. We actually, me and Jerry, recovered this last week on our show. Um, that there were these purposely leaked, unretouched photos of these celebrities. I think Cindy Crawford was one. Um, I don't remember who the others were, but I wanted to know from your perspective, you know, um, a big picture of like, you know, what what's going on. Just just break it down for us and and explain from your point of view what you see going on here. So this unretouched thing is very fascinating because a lot of people have demanded to see unretouched photographs of people. They want to see unretouched photographs of product campaigns, and they think it should represent realism. You know, I think generally the funny thing is that fashion or commercials are a place to escape realism. It's supposed to be a, a space of fantasy because, you know, when you buy a product or when you buy something, you have this illusion of what, you know, you'll look like wearing this product or what you would look like in the perfect situation. It's escape from reality. So what happened was eventually all photos started becoming retouched to a point where um, people weren't happy about it. So they decided to um, run by scenarios where they would release retouched photos in, say, magazines like American Eagle or Abercrombie or a few campaigns um, had full sets where they would just say, hey, these photos are completely unretouched. We don't retouch our models anymore. But it was kind of an issue because they still made up for that by adding additional makeup or getting the lighting. Yeah, lighting is huge. Like lighting is a big player in how people look. Exactly. Lighting and makeup, and, yeah. Yeah, and when you think about it, that's essentially retouching. Retouching yeah. isn't the last 3% of removing a blemish. It's how much makeup is applied to what degree to um, hide these blemishes. How is lighting done to make a person look better? Or, you know, I think ge the general population will understand with the analogy of taking selfies. Like a lot of people take selfies and they won't take it at a certain angle. They'll change the angle. They'll change the way the light's uh, being used in their little selfie and they'll modify everything so that they look as good as possible but instead of all this they blame the retouching and so I, what happened was people started using unretouched photos as a marketing vessel they started releasing these photos saying that uh, you know here here are celebrities unretouched to give uh, magazines a push in sales but they use the the guise of morality to uh, release them. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, there are a few instances that instances that this happened. One of them uh, was, I think, a recent with Cindy Crawford, where her photo was released unretouched. Now, I there are a few theories on why it happened. Personally, I think one of the things that typically happens in a situation like this is either it's done purposefully, so. I think it's done purposefully in situations because, like I said, they want to boost marketing or they want to boost the attention to the magazine. Mm -hmm. um, but it also happens without permission sometimes. And because you work in an area where the files get handed through many people, um, big, big sites like uh, Jezebel, for example, would give money to people saying, hey, if you give us these photographs, we'll pay you X amount of money. And it's a lot of money. Usually a ton and, of money. Yeah. And if you are a retoucher or if you are a, an assistant or somebody working in that office that, access, that has access to these files, um, you get paid a lot of money to give out these uh, images. So, you know, either that happens. So one of those two things, you get a marketing push by companies to do this intentionally or it's done by somebody for malicious intent. So that's kind of what my uh, theory is behind seeing these photos distributed so heavily online, even though I don't think people really want to see it. Yeah, I, I would think that the of those two categories, the one where we have someone trying to do it for marketing purposes, I think would probably fall yeah. Cindy Crawford. And the one doing yeah. it where it was not necessarily in the best interest of anyone was the ones where there was like a ton of Beyonce came out where she looks like a human. And yeah, um, like so uh, people just there's a fury, just a firestorm of commentary that comes out about this. And 
I, I this whole idea of retouched, unretouched. I, I agree with you. This is this, this idea of using it for marketing, and it, like BuzzFeed did that video about how Photoshop changed the way people looked, and they did it to the extreme. And these these women were like, "Oh, that's not me." And it's like, "Okay, yes, you can do that, but that's not." I don't think that's the goal of a true retoucher is to change you from who you are. Exactly. And I think what people don't understand is when we get these files uh, from photographers, they don't actually look that far off from the retouch photo. And people are surprised to hear that because they see these unretouched photos and they look awful. So I think what's happening is they're starting to release these really intentionally awful photos. and But people don't stop to think about the fact that you know, if you look at this from a photography standpoint, it's an awful photograph. Therefore, it really wouldn't actually be published even if it was retouched. Right. So that alone gives you a clue that these photographs that you're seeing are not actually the ones that would have been released retouched. Yeah. And then we Literally. also get those weird cases of the Sports Illustrated cover <laughs> where that retouch was just, I don't, I don't even understand how that, that got out. The Kate Upton one where her chin and her neck are like one oh. item. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you... Clearly... The photographs aren't taken by any of the photographers who listen to uh, this show. All right, you know? I gotta mark that down. I gotta mark it down. You you cussed. I gotta go in at thirty two minutes. Oh, I said <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said it again. Thirty three minutes. Thirty two and thirty three. Oh boy, sorry about that. Uh, sorry. Uh, clearly, no crappy photographers uh, that listen to this show. Um, what? Oh, sorry, you just distracted me, chairs. <laughs> clearly, no crappy photographers that listen to this show took those photos. Clearly, none of our, them. Because our listeners are awesome, and they're great <laughs> photographers, and they look beautiful, and we like you. Well, thank you for that, Pratik. That was that was good. Uh, that was good insight from someone who is is not just you know looking at it from outside in. Like you're you're in there. You're in the trenches yourself. This is like your this is what you do. So like it's it's, oh, yeah. it's good to hear it from you. Yeah, I'm buddies with Beyonce. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Don't be human. Oh my Beyonce. God! You said it again. I got it. Thirty three again. Thirty <laughs> minute thirty three is going to be riddled with beeps. Oh, okay. <laughs>